Hi, I'm Doug, and behind me is Sailing Vessel Seeker, the boat the internet built. Part of the internet's here today. And back with us from Dallas, Texas is Brian Holmes. He helped build the boxes, uh, the drawers in the engine room and uh, started the cabinets. Now I'm just putting together some cedar scrap boards. These are gonna get uh, cold tar epoxy and glued to the floor. The cabinets will mount down onto them. The reason we're using cedar is because even if the water gets past the uh, coal tar, it's a pretty impervious wood uh, rot. So Brian started out with foam and now that we know what we're going to do, they're becoming plywood and those cedar strips will go underneath the bottom of them there. But these are called, what do you call these, the carcasses? The cabinet carcasses, yes. Cabinet carcasses. I like the word carcasses because it's dead wood. So what happens after the carcasses? So I'll take detailed measurements of the inner dimensions and make the drawers and doors to fit back in my home shop and then I'll just bring them up. And you gotta see his shop. The way to pick a guy to do your carpentry work is see how many clamps he owns. <laughs> he owns a lot of clamps. I brought a few of them. Yeah, a few. Maybe they're all hanging up now. I'll tell you what, don't have to say it, do I? It's a beautiful sunset. Not yeah. the worst view I've ever worked with. It'd be better if we were on the water, but we need a kitchen first. I'm getting there. Getting there. Oh, I see three now. You remember you had to build the gimbal thing for the stove and the oven. Yeah, well that was your job. I just had to build the space for it. Is the space wide enough? Do yeah. you had, are you ahead that measurement? It was on the floor. Oh. That. oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been so long. Okay, lumber. Marine plywood, don't bother. It's, it's not worth the money. Popular, half the price of oak. Go with that. He is working away in there and cabinets are taking shape. Let's see, wash machine, food storage, deep freezer over this way, two drawer refrigerator, a pass through so you can get into the galley that way, uh, gimbaled convection oven, cooktop, dishwasher, sink, and an opening with some more drawers to be built in over in here. Dining room table, helm, sail handling, Refrigerator, ice machine, couch. And a man that travels with all of his tools. Not all. So my job, so I can stay out of his way, is to build the gimbal thing that lets the uh, convection oven and stovetop rock back and forth here as the boat rolls. Yeah, check that out. Henry painted his house yesterday. I tried to convince him to go with yellow, but man, should have gone with yellow. These are a plastic bushing that I use in the sheaves or the pulleys for the sails. It'll come in handy. What is that gadget? Craig pocket hole jig. Pocket hole jig. That is sweet. Let me see the bottom of it. I don't see anything. Yep. Oh, right. it doesn't come out the bottom. It does. This it doesn't screw drill all does. the way through. The screw does. Oh, sure. Designed specifically for the screw. That is cool. We're done. What's this for? The bottom shelf will sit on top of that. All right. Yeah. This is under the sink. Yeah, you have all the cool toys. <laughs> What's this thing? How do you tighten this up? With an Allen wrench? Yeah, from the other side. Woodpecker's box clamp. What's that called? Face Alright, so this is laying on his back. Yeah. God, that looks good. You do good work. Far too good for this boat. We, we should put some gaps in here and uh, ding this up a bit more. Well, I figured you'll do that on your own. <laughs> yeah, we will. I saw the inside of that board that was in the shop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of had that thing about, you know, when you build something that's going to be an old pickup truck. You just thought to build it like an old pickup truck. You don't need to buy a brand new F-250 and then tear it up, you know? Yeah, that's, that's us there. Yeah, see, it already has grease stains on the inside of it there. Perfect. So you use these pocket screws for joining this stuff. Man, that makes a beautiful, clean hole. That's cool. Do you like that attachment better than biscuits and the other stuff that they use? Um, I don't know if it's better. It's just 
Different? Faster. Oh, it's faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. There's no glue involved here. Are you gluing right. that too? No, no, no glue. Just screw it together. And I think it's three inches in from the top. Yep. This will swing out. This is going to be so weird. And then you open the door. So, yeah, I like that. It'll be face frame on it. So. I can't, I don't think that's a big deal that you're reaching in a little bit to pull the oven open. Because the top's going to come out to about in here. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy it'll, with it'll it. will be open, there won't be anything. You know, the other reason why is because it's got this handle that sticks out two inches. Okay. So, no, I'm, I just, I, I'm all good with that. I'm just making sure you're okay with the yeah. depth. Yeah, I am. What's the notch for? The pipes. Okay. Oh, because the sink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the stifters. There's a, a little hatch in here. But you get into that other you know, compartment where their drain's going to be. Days are getting longer. We're enjoying it. Ryan Holmes is up there working in his COVID isolation bubble. Cabinets are looking great. Now we've had Brandon locked in the pilot house all morning. Let's see what he's done. Oh, he broke the seal on the door. <laughs> it's upside down. Yep. You're giving it reinforcing. Is that what you do? Uh, we're building the face frame. Oh, the face frame for it. I'm starting to think the cabinet assembly has a lot to do with drilling mini oh. holes. Is that a Craig? Is that a Craig? Is that a Craig bit? Yes, he has all the fancy tools. Those are so cool. What'd you call that thing again? I think it's Craig. Craig, yeah, you're right. Those are freaking awesome. You do anything with those things. Well, he, he sure is making use of it. Okay, if you're like me, you've built cabinets before. But if you are uh, haven't built cabinets on boat, you don't really understand what it is to build cabinets on boat. Look at the back of this thing. The walls are curved, the floors are curved, and everything in here has to go around something else. So these two panels are separated so it can go over the support structure for the pilot house. And not only is the wall curved, it's curved in two directions. So everything has to start with a piece of cardboard or a piece of foam and then it gets worked into these uh, forward supports, the carcasses, and all the bracing has to go in so it misses everything. And who has to build a gimbal for their oven and stove top in a kitchen? There's just so many more things. So it can be done, it just takes some patience. Get out there. And then, they can't just be set in and put in with a few screws like you do in a house. We're going to glue these to the floor. They have to have a strip down there that keeps them from getting water damage. And there'll be tabs that weld them into the back of the pilot house wall there. Definitely not your standard kitchen cabinets. You don't go to Home Depot and Lowe's for these. And let me show you the final thing. Well, not final thing, but the bulk of it is, is uh, created now. So this is the table will be over here and this will be, you will enter the galley. You will have your oven and your stove top, your dishwasher, your below sink, your sink. You know what? That might be a good spot over there for a uh, water heater. And over here, two drawer refrigerator. Over there, washing machine. Uh, storage and a uh, defreezer, not a stepladder. Many thanks to Brian back again. This is like your fourth trip here, isn't it? Fourth, yeah. Yeah, and he'll make one more, bringing up the doors. Probably two. Because you don't want to see what I would do for doors. You want your quality doors. <laughs>
Drinking up.